Hi, it's Dave. Today I'm going to show you what I do to troubleshoot and replace this outlet that is burned out in my house. I'm not a professional electrician, so nothing that I tell you should be considered professional education or advice. I'm simply going to show you what I do about this problem. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload more videos. Okay, first things first. The number one thing I do whenever I work with electricity is safety. I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker to ensure that this outlet is not on. Okay, you want to turn the circuit breaker off. You have to find the right one, which is this one, and flip it off. Okay, now that I've turned the circuit breaker off, I just want to test to ensure that this circuit is not live and the outlet doesn't have any electricity. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a non-contact voltage tester. And it's indicating there's no electricity. But just to be certain, I'm also gonna use an outlet tester, which I'm gonna plug in and turn on. And I'm getting a reading of zero volts. So now I know that this circuit has no electricity. It's completely off, so we can proceed. Okay, next I'm gonna remove the screw in the center of the plate, the outlet. Now we have the plate off. Next we're gonna remove these two screws so we can access the outlet itself. Okay, once these screws are unscrewed, we can remove those. And then we can take a look at the outlet. Okay, I have the outlet pulled out now, and I want to show you what I can see here. I'm going to shine my flashlight. Um, it's hard for me to shine my flashlight and point. Um, on the hot side of the outlet, here on this side, this wire, the one on the bottom, is melted all the way to about here. Um, the wires are all uh, backstabbed into the outlet. That means they're not attached around the screws. They're stabbed into the hole on the back, which is not the best. But they do seem to all be in there securely. But this wire melted. So my hypothesis right now is that there's some kind of an internal short in this outlet. And uh, it melted when the current got real high it melted this wire until just until the circuit breaker popped downstairs so i'm gonna have to take a closer look at this outlet but for right now i am going to remove the outlet and replace it with a new outlet because i have plenty of wire here and some of these are melted a bit and it's hard to get the wires out what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the wire close to the outlet and remove it so I can um, investigate this outlet without disturbing it too much. Okay, and doing this, it's always good to note which wire is which. So right now, this was my bottom hot wire and my top hot wire. Bottom neutral wire and top neutral wire. And this is the ground. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the melted part of the hot wire that melted. And then I'm going to strip 
enough of the insulation from these wires to make a loop. And I'm going to put that loop on the screws of the outlet and attach it to the outlet that way. In the next scene, you're going to see me strip the insulation off the wires so I can connect them to the outlet. The mistake you're going to see me make is to strip too much insulation off the wires. What I should have done is to use the strip guide on the back of the outlet to measure how much insulation to strip. I should have put the wire here, measured it on the strip guide, and then mark the wire in the appropriate spot and then strip that much insulation off the wire. This is important because if you strip too much insulation off the wire, you can wind up with bare wire inside of your electrical box. When you push that outlet back in, that bare wire could get pushed up against the outside of the electrical box or the ground wire and that could create a short. If you don't strip off enough insulation, you could wind up with insulation underneath the screw when you tighten it down and then you won't have a good connection. So okay, next I'm gonna strip a good inch or so off of each of the wires so that I can attach them properly to the new outlet to strip the insulation off of it. And so I'll do that for all four of the wires, not the ground wire, of course. Okay, after a little wrangling, I have all the wires stripped sufficiently to attach to our new outlet. So we have a new outlet. Um, we'll attach the two hot wires on this side, the two neutral wires on this side, and the ground to the green screw. Uh, we're going to do that by bending a loop in each one of these wires, attaching it appropriately. Um, and so it's in the direction of clockwise, I will screw it, which I'll show you. So we'll take our bottom hot wire here first, and we'll bend a loop in it like that. That's gonna go on the bottom screw on here on the hot side of the outlet. We wanna do it this way so that when we tighten that screw, it will not loosen up that wire. In fact, we can even make it nice and tight with our needle nose pliers and then screw in that screw. And we'll do the same for the other wires, making sure we keep the top wires that we marked on the top. side, top wire, oh, where's that? Bottom neutral wire, same thing.
finally we have our ground wire. Exact same manner. Okay, we've made sure we have good connections for all of our wires. Now we're gonna put our outlet back in. Make sure we don't create any kind of short circuits or anything. And we're going to screw those two screws in to attach the outlet in. Okay, I've screwed the outlet back in and I'm gonna pull out my multimeter and we're just gonna check the ohms on this, the resistance. We should have, you know, an open line because, and I'm reading open line. Okay, the outlet's installed. We don't think we have any shorts in it. So uh, next we're gonna turn the circuit breaker back on and make sure it works. We'll test the outlet. Okay, so we're gonna turn the circuit breaker back on and we'll go upstairs and check. Okay, we turn the circuit breaker on so we should have power. Looks like we do. So we're going to test. And let's see if you can see this. And it says it is correct. So that's a good fix. So we've uh, replaced the outlet and the new one works. Okay, a few things left to do. We are gonna put the cover back on and put the screw in. Okay, let's take a look at the bad outlet that we removed. You can see here that this is the uh, outlet that was that was burned. Um, let's see if there's it was a short in this outlet. So I have my multimeter set to ohms, and we're going to measure the resistance between the positive and the neutral. And we're getting an open line OL. That means open line, which means there's infinite resistance, there's no connectivity. That's what it should be. Let's try the other ones. Open line. That's what it should be. Let's try between the positive and the ground. Open line. Other, other positive and the ground. We're still getting open line. So I don't see a short in our old burned outlet. It may have been the wire itself Something may have shorted in the wires. I uh, don't know for sure. But the outlet is installed now and it's working. So that's the job complete. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.